We came off the gold standard in 1971. Kind of like my date, 9-17-179. It's all the same energy. The atomic mass of gold is 197. It's the 79th element. Now I'm going to tell a story about a personal friend, how this may be connected. Hey, hey, you dirty dog. So I got a crazy synchronicity story uh, with a friend of mine, a lifelong friend that I grew up with. Uh, let me give you a backstory. So this friend I actually grew up with in an orphanage, okay? I've got uh, a mom and dad, but I never lived with them. My dad was in jail, in prison for uh, weed, selling weed my majority of my uh, younger life. Uh, mom wasn't there. My dad has passed on now. Um, but back to the story. So we're living in this orphanage, and we dabbled in art, and he was a really good artist. And actually, when I left the orphanage, the only thing he asked was if he could keep my art, which he did. Well, when he got out of the orphanage later, I was off in college. He got into some trouble, ended up in prison. And while there, he ends up being taught how to tattoo. And he was the tattoo guy in, in jail. All right? Lo and behold, he ends up finding out that the guy that taught him how to tattoo is my dad through conversation. And and you know crazy synchronicity you grow up with an orphanage with a guy and then you end up getting taught how to tattoo by his dad in prison <laughs> kind of like another orphanage um so he ends up getting my contact information from my dad who got it from my aunt and ends up sending me a letter and, and tells me about this you know it just makes me think you know life is crazy right uh this friend is now doing well, has his own business, has a family. So, I asked him for his name and his date, uh, his birthday. And I look up his name, and I immediately see 157. And I'm like, hey, that's the 919th prime. I look up his, his birth date, and I'm like, oh, I'm 1,063 days older. I look that up, and that is the 179th prime. And we're on this 9-17 date. I'm like, man, what are the chances of that? That's just crazy. Just so you know, my birthday is 9-16-1977. His is 8-14-1980. It's 1,063 days. Exact. 179th prime. So I go back to that 157, and it makes me think... I said, that's the 919th prime. And, I, and I, it makes me think of Luke Knox. The day before, there was a football player yesterday that died. He was connected with the Buffalo Bills. And when he died, I asked, I, you know, I told a friend of mine, you know, that was near me. And I said, man, if I look this up, his birthday better not be 917. It's just because of all the synchronicities I've been having with that number. So I look up his, his uh, birthday, and it's 919. And I'm thinking, ah, 919. I said, if... Uh, if, if the exchange rate happens on 917, you won't be able to actually change it in until that Monday on 919. So that's kind of crazy. And then I said, you know what? Fort Knox makes me think of Luke Knox. Luke Knox, Fort Knox makes me think of gold, money, currency. And then I'm thinking, and it's been, and I'm thinking of that other story I just put out that it's been 51 years since. Uh, we've been on the gold standard, and it's also 51 years since Iraq changed the exchange rate, which was 51 years after they became a, a nation in the modern era. So I'm like, well, there's a pattern there. Now, now this Luke Knox story, and now his birthday is 919, and my friend's name is 157, 919th prime. <laughs> Uh, what's going on here? And, and so while I'm thinking of gold, I'm like, let me go look up gold on the periodic table because I know there's some 9-7 numbers there. It's the 79th element, and its atomic mass is 197. What better day than 9-17 to do something around currency or finances than a date that has the 197, which is the atomic mass of gold? Hmm. 
just some crazy coincidences, huh? Not by chance. It's all connected.